Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss binomial quadratic search. So now let us discuss what are quadratic search. So here we can say that quadratic search are the search of second order. So here there are few examples of quadratic search. So here we can see that two binomial expressions containing search differing only by n sign that is positive or a negative connecting them are said to be conjugate to each other so now let us proceed and solve a problem using this concept the given example in the form of a plus b root 3 and find a and b So here the given example is 5 plus 2 root 3 divided by 7 plus 4 root 3. So here the rationalizing factor of 7 plus 4 root 3 is nothing but 7 minus 4 root 3. So now let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by the rationalizing factor. Now we get here by multiplying both the terms. As five into seven is nothing but thirty-five, minus five into four root three is nothing but minus twenty root three. And again, multiplying the whole term with two root three, we get two root three into seven. That is nothing but fourteen root three. And again, two root three into minus four root three is nothing but minus eight into root three whole square. Divided by seven whole square minus. Four root three whole square. That implies we get here thirty-five minus twenty-four, and then by subtracting the similar thirds, we get here minus six root three divided by forty-nine minus sixteen into three. That implies we get the result over here as eleven minus six root three by forty nine minus forty eight, which is equal to eleven minus six root three. As the denominator is one, we can say that the result is eleven minus six root three, and by comparing the given expression to a plus b root three, we get here a is equal to eleven. And b is equal to minus six. So this was the basic introduction on binomial quadratic search. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.